Hello and welcome to the 28th video in this series, Programming a Chess Engine in JavaScript. So in this video, having finally got through the, gen the code for the generate moves, we need now need to start writing the functions out that are actually going to add the moves to the move list. And the crucial thing here is I hope that it was clear a couple of videos ago when I explained exactly how the move list start is used to index the moves inside the actual move list on the game board. So that's what we're going to be writing out now. So we're going to write out three functions in this video. And one of them is going to be called add capture move, taking in the move that it's going to be added, adding as an argument. And we're going to then say that game board and our move list. And now what we want to do here is we want to add our move list at a certain index, which I'll just comment now as being called index because this is what we'll fill in. We need to set this equal to our move so we can represent, re uh, reference that later. What we're also going to do is we're going to, on our move scores, also at this index, we're going to set that at the moment to zero. Now the move scores isn't relevant at all for the actual move generation or even move making and unmaking moves, but it is very relevant for the alpha beta search tree when we actually start searching a position because alpha beta is critically reliable upon move ordering. The better ordering that your move is, so i.e. the more often that you search the best move first, the more nodes you save getting um, beta cutoffs or alpha improvements in the search tree. And don't worry about that now, there'll be a lot of explanation when we come to implement that. But we need some way of storing a score or heuristic value for each move on the move list, which is why we have this move scores array and why we're setting that at the moment to zero, but that will change in the future. So the only thing we need to do now is see, get what our index is inside our move list array. And this is where our move list start array comes in here. And I explained this when we started writing the generate moves function, but basically I hope you remember it's indexed by the current ply and the next ply, so our ply plus one, contains the end index effectively of our move list. So we'll always add our move at a position of game board move list start, the current ply plus one. I went through this in a lot of detail when we started writing the generate move, so I, that should make some sense of what's going on here. If not, then go back and have a look at it. But essentially that's just telling us whereabouts in the move list for the current generated moves we need to add this move. We also add the score at the same position and then we increment the index for the next play of where that move list will start because we've added this move in for this play so we need to increment the index of where the next move list for the next play starts. Now just a, a habit of mine, I don't particularly like incrementing things always after an array has been indexed in this way. I prefer to use a post increment like this and put two pluses here. It just saves one line of code and it's a matter of taste. Um, if you're not used to post increments, because sometimes it confuses people to look at it, basically what it's doing is it's using the value here from this array and then incrementing the value in the array by one. If I put the pluses on this side here, it would increment it first and then use the value as an index. So effectively, doing it this way is exactly the same as having this section highlighted in blue here on a third line in this function. And now we're going to take this function and copy it twice. And I'm going to call this one add quiet move, except can't spell yet again. And I'm going to call this one here on percent move. And the reason these are being separated out is because the heuristic scores that are used for quiet moves are different to capture moves and an on percent move doesn't really need any because we know what's being captured and what's doing the capturing. It's always pawn captures pawn so we'll be setting the score always to the same constant when we add the scores in when we start doing the searching later on in the program. So those are now our three basic functions for adding moves into the move list. And what we can do now before ending this video, because I don't want it to go on too long, is we can already add in some of the code to add the moves to our capture, uh, our capture moves and our quiet moves into the move list. So I'm going to go into generate moves and I'm going to ignore the pawns for now 
ignore the cast link and just go down to the non-sliding pieces and the sliding pieces. And if we go right down to those pieces there, it's pretty easy stuff actually to add these in. I'll start with the non-sliding pieces here. So to add a capture, we simply have to say add cap, oops, capture move. And now if I just quickly scroll right back up to the top, you remember that our move is from a two square captured, promoted, and then the flag on the end. So inside add capture move here, we'll say move. And then we want the from, which is square, the two, which is T underscore square. Then we want the piece that we're capturing. So in this case, it's game board pieces and T underscore square. And then we're not going to be promoting to anything because only pawns promote. So we'll make that pieces dot empty. And we're not having any flag at all because it's not a particularly special kind of move. So we'll just add onto this a zero. And that's all we need to do for adding our capture move. And we can actually take this capture move line here and copy it and scroll down and paste that exactly in here for the sliding pieces also. And likewise, just for laziness, I'm going to paste it in, in the place of the add quiet move, except I'm going to put it in, oh my goodness, I really can't get the U and the I the right way around. I'm going to add a quiet move here, and instead of game board pieces here, obviously we're not capturing anything, so we put pieces.empty, and I'll take the add quiet move here, and also drop this into the placeholder here. So that's the moves for sliding and non-sliding pieces being added to the move list. And in the next video, we'll start filling in the placeholders for the pawns and the castling moves. So I hope that made some sense. Thanks very much for watching. Comments, questions, criticisms, welcome as always on YouTube.